Larry Fine, a standout figure amidst his contemporaries in classic Hollywood, carved a unique niche join to his distinctive comedic style and unparalleled versatility. Amid the entertainment landscape of the era, Fine's ability to blend slapstick humor with genuine wit set him apart. His talent wasn't solely rooted in delivering laughs, but in his impeccable timing and knack for improvisation, elevating the craft of comedy to an art form. What truly distinguished Fine was his ability to transcend the conventional, infusing each performance with an unassuming charm that resonated with audiences of all ages. As for cherished memories or personal experiences related to this classic Hollywood actor, we'd love to hear your stories and recollections in the comments below. Share your moments and celebrate the legacy of this remarkable entertainer. Larry Fine, born Louis Feinberg, was the quintessential comedic genius behind the iconic persona of the frizzy-haired, violin-playing member of the Three Stooges. While the trio was renowned for slapstick comedy, Fine's contributions went beyond his on-screen antics. Before his illustrious career in entertainment, Fine harbored aspirations of becoming a professional violinist. His musical talent was evident from an early age, mastering the violin by the time he was 12. However, fate had other plans when an accidental blow to his hand during a boxing match altered the trajectory of his ambitions. This twist of fate led him toward the world of comedy, a path that eventually led to his joining the vaudeville circuit. The genesis of the Three Stooges marked a pivotal moment in Fine's life. Alongside Mo Howard and Curly Howard, the trio forged a comedic legacy that would endure for generations. What set Fine apart was his ability to infuse each performance with an unparalleled blend of physical humor and subtle wit. His knack for physical comedy combined with an endearing, childlike innocence added depth to the character he portrayed. Behind the curtain, Fine was known for his unwavering dedication to perfecting each act. His commitment to the craft was unwavering, spending countless hours rehearsing routines to achieve flawless comedic timing. His resilience and professionalism shone through even in the face of adversity, such as when he continued performing despite suffering serious injuries on set. Beyond the screen, Fine was a kind-hearted individual, revered by colleagues for his humility and generosity. He often mentored younger actors, imparting wisdom garnered from his extensive experience in show business. Fine's impact on popular culture is immeasurable, influencing generations of comedians and leaving an indelible mark on the comedy landscape. His ability to elicit laughter without uttering a word and his remarkable talent for physical comedy remain unparalleled. In his later years, Fine continued to be an inspiration, leaving a lasting legacy that transcends time. His contributions to comedy endure, a testament to his unparalleled talent and dedication to his craft. Larry Fine's story is more than the sum of his comedic acts. It's a testament to passion, resilience, and the enduring power of laughter in the face of adversity. His legacy lives on, immortalized in the hearts of comedy enthusiasts worldwide. Larry Fine, known for his iconic comedic roles, had a surprising past in boxing. Despite his father halting his amateur bouts, his boxing skills later shaped his career in entertainment. His journey led him from Ted Healy to the Three Stooges, where his earlier training found an unexpected use. Beyond his renowned career, Fine faced personal tragedies, losing his son in a car accident and his daughter to cancer. Despite these hardships, Fine continued performing until his final concert appearance in 1974 at Laura High School in Anaheim, California. His life, marked by unexpected turns and resilience, remains a testament to the diverse facets of his journey. Larry Fine's transition from violinist to comedic legend was anything but ordinary. Despite his musical roots, an unexpected turn led him to the world of entertainment. His tenure with the Three Stooges was marked by twists and turns behind the scenes, one notably involving conflicting contracts that shifted the course of their careers. After departing from Ted Healy and MGM, contractual missteps led to a legal dispute, ultimately leaving Larry to relinquish business dealings to Mo Howard. One intriguing aspect of Larry's persona was the physical toll his performances took, notably claiming calluses on his chin from Mo's slaps, a humorous assertion that mirrored his comedic prowess. However, beneath the slapstick humor lay a more practical reason for these calluses, rooted in his background as a trained violinist. The unexpected turns in Larry Fine's career 
From contractual entanglements to his unique physical traits, added layers to his iconic comedic legacy, reflecting a journey as diverse and unpredictable as the laughs he provided on screen. Owing to his wife's aversion to housekeeping, the Fines opted for hotel living for years, settling in Los Angeles post-World War II. Their favored spot, the President Hotel in Atlantic City, New Jersey, served as their long-term residence before its demolition. Despite their nomadic lifestyle, Larry made time for lively social gatherings, earning a reputation as an affable yes-man due to his agreeable nature. Alongside his wife, Mabel Haney, he hosted extravagant Christmas feasts, delighting in the company of friends. This preference for socializing and their unconventional housing choice offers a unique glimpse into the off-screen life of the comedic legend, revealing a colorful and unconventional aspect of his personal life. As the era of Columbia shorts came to an end, the Three Stooges found themselves at a crossroads. Unbeknownst to them, their classic films were being replayed on television, rekindling a flame of popularity that they hadn't anticipated. The trio, Mo, Larry, and Curly, embarked on a journey, blissfully ignorant of the growing admiration they were amassing in the towns they visited. Confused by the sudden attention, they were often mobbed by fans eager to catch a glimpse of the comedic legends. Little did the Stooges know, their slapstick humor and timeless antics were turning them into cult icons all over again. Larry, the unsung hero of the trio, found himself in an unexpected spotlight when he took on a solo venture in the film Stage Mother, a move that added another layer to their evolving dynamic. Then came Joe Dorita, a new addition to the ensemble. When Mo suggested a hierarchical relationship with Joe as an employee, Larry stepped up to champion equality. Against all odds, Larry's persistence prevailed, and Joe became an equal partner. This decision would prove pivotal as the trio experienced an unforeseen resurgence in popularity. The Stooges were riding a new wave of success, with Larry's unyielding belief in their collective potential shaping their destiny. In the midst of their unexpected fame, Larry and the Stooges found themselves navigating uncharted territory, surprised by the magnitude of their own success. The laughter they had once shared in the making of their timeless shorts was now echoing through the hearts of a new generation of fans, solidifying their place in the annals of comedy history. The Three Stooges' journey was a testament to the enduring power of humor and camaraderie, leaving an indelible mark on the entertainment world. And so, the legacy of Larry and the Stooges continued to unfold, marked by an improbable resurgence and a newfound appreciation for their timeless brand of comedy proof that laughter knows no bounds. This is the story of resilience, camaraderie, and the unexpected journey of the Three Stooges. As we bid adieu to this exploration of Larry Fine's artistry, let's take a moment to reflect on the invisible threads that weave us all into the rich tapestry of entertainment. Larry's performances were more than just scenes captured on film. They were mirrors reflecting the myriad emotions and experiences of our lives. As you traverse the corridors of Larry's cinematic legacy, consider the resonance it holds in your own narrative. Perhaps you shared a chuckle over a scene that touched the depths of your humor, or maybe his subtle nuances sparked a recognition of shared humanity. In these reflections lies the magic of shared connection that transcends time and space. We invite you to share your cherished memories, the moments when Larry Fine's presence on screen became a part of your own story. What was it about his performances that lingered in your thoughts, creating an indelible mark on your cinematic journey? Your stories, like hidden treasures, enrich the collective tapestry of appreciation for this remarkable artist. As we close this chapter, let the echo of Larry's laughter linger in your thoughts, a testament to the enduring impact of a true entertainer. Thank you for allowing us to accompany you on this introspective voyage through the realms of Larry Fine's contribution to the world of entertainment. Your time and engagement are truly valued. Appreciating the laughter, cherishing the memories, here's to Larry Fine, a maestro in the symphony of entertainment. And to you, dear reader, for sharing in the magic. Until the next rendezvous in the realms of nostalgia.